What's up guys? Welcome to my touch points review. In this video, we're going to be trying out the touch point solution by putting a touch point on each side of our body to see if their patented blast, that's bilateral alternating stimulation technology, lives up to their claims. The company selling the touch point solution claims that their product can reduce stress by 74% in just 30 seconds, as well as decreasing beta brainwaves in the brain associated with anxiety and decreasing stress related cortisol. On top of this, they also claim that the touch point solution can improve sleep and focus. For those of you guys who are brand new to the channel and only just now subscribing for the first time, I'm always checking out different kinds of mental health or stress and anxiety reducing devices on this channel, but this is the first time I've tried one that relies on this bilateral alternating stimulation, this vibration on both sides of the body to reduce stress. So I will admit I'm pretty skeptical of it, but the company does offer a whole bunch of studies that I'm gonna dive into. I haven't even looked at them yet, but I will compare their studies to my own experience to make sure this isn't just the placebo effect before I recommend it to any of you guys. And because money is important to me, I am gonna include a coupon code at the end of the video. I'm telling you this before I even know if the review is gonna be positive or not, but there will be a coupon code one way or another at the end of this video so that if this product is pretty cool and you wanna buy it for yourself, you can do so. So stick to the end, get that coupon code, save that money. All right, so hear me out. They don't come charged in the package, so give me a minute, let me charge them up, try them out, and then we dive right back in to this touch point review. Cool? All right, fast forward one month later, I've been using the Touchpoint solution every day, twice a day for at least 20 minutes at a time. And boy, have I got some opinions to share with you guys. But first off, before I even tell you my own experience, I just wanna let you know, before I even touched the device, uh, before I had any bias at all, I did wanna go online and check out other reviews. I wanted to see what people were saying overall about the device and what I found were pretty mixed reviews. Some people really love the device and say that it helps them to reduce their stress or soothe their anxiousness or soothe their child with autism or even help them with their PTSD symptoms. Whereas other people were saying that the device did absolutely nothing for them and they sent it right back. So could this product work for you? Right off the bat, I'm just gonna say maybe. I really think it depends on the person. Unfortunately, you probably won't know whether or not this type of technology is going to work for you until you try it for yourself. But as of right now, the company does have a 30 day return policy. So if you did buy one and it didn't work for you, at least you could send it back for a refund. But now for my opinions on the product. The very first thing I immediately liked while unboxing the product was how simple it was. Inside the box are two touch points, the little buzzy thingies, two watch band like straps, which really suck actually but I'm gonna talk about that later. A dual pronged micro USB charger, which is actually quite convenient. So you can charge both of your touch points at the same time. A carrying bag, which is probably gonna end up in the garbage. And instructions, which I skipped because the product is very simple and intuitive to use. That's it. Plain and simple, no fluff. Like I said, I love that. I hate seeing a million accessories knowing that they built that into the price. Just keep it simple, give me the product. Like I said, I use these things every day, twice a day for 20 minutes or more, once in the morning and once before bed. What I wanted to see was whether or not it would affect my heart rate variability, stress levels and sleep or anxiousness. Now for heart rate variability, I have to say, I actually was tracking my HRV through this and I didn't notice any profound or significant result from these devices, I'm sorry to say. But to be fair, I do usually have a very good heart rate variability, which means it's kind of difficult for a product to give it any kind of meaningful boost. As for stress reduction and sleep, well, again, I'm already pretty good at managing my own stress, so it was really hard to measure this without directly measuring cortisol levels in my mouth, which I didn't have access to. I will say, I think the vibration sensation could be relaxing to some people. You might find this soothing, you might not. I really just think it depends on the person. And I slept about the same as well. I'm sorry. I usually sleep pretty well. I slept pretty well with these devices. Uh, maybe if you have sleep issues, it would help you. Like I said, maybe I'm not the best test subject for this, but I slept about the same. Now, anxiety relief, let's talk about that. I think it could be helpful for some people with mild anxiety. But if your anxiety is more moderate to severe in nature, I really don't think this is gonna do that much. I don't think slapping these things on your wrist is gonna give you the courage to go talk to your crush or step up on stage for a presentation if something like that is making you feel anxious. I think that this is best for like mild anxiousness at most or just regular stress. While I didn't see any profound results on my own stress levels, there are a number of studies on the Touchpoints website that indicate it really can help reduce stress levels. I'm not gonna dive into them in this video because 
I think you guys would just click away and get bored, but I will drop a link below to my full article on this topic, and from there, you can find those studies. Overall, I'm gonna say this product is probably okay as far as effectiveness goes. I think it'll work for some people, I don't think it'll work for everyone. There is some science to back it up, so I do think it could be worth trying. While touch points may work for some people and not for other people, one area where it really gains points in my opinion is with ease of use. I gotta say, these things are really easy to use. The hardest part is actually just getting the strap on your wrist, which I will dig into a little bit later. But once they're on, you're pretty much just pushing the one button that's on the device a couple of times so that they can get to work start vibrating on both sides of your body, and ideally start reducing that stress and anxiousness. The one thing that is important to note is that if you don't know how this product works, you don't actually need any skin contact. As long as you can feel the vibrations on each side of your body, the haptic micro vibrations are supposed to give you a non-invasive way to distract you from stressful situations. All right, now here's where I get a little mean, and I don't like calling anyone's baby ugly, but these are some ugly babies. If the Touch Points team ever watches this review, please understand I'm coming from a good place. My honest suggestion is to reboot the design and just come up with the next iteration because this ain't it. Here are my biggest complaints about the Touch Point wearable devices. Let's start with these outdated silicone straps. They remind me of my dad's first Casio watch and they're extremely difficult to get on. Not only are these things difficult to get on, but if you wear a fitness tracker or a watch or any other kind of device on your wrist already, it's just gonna make them even harder to get on. The one suggestion I can give you guys is if you purchase this, I would recommend upgrading to the stainless steel mesh because at least that one slips on and off as opposed to having to go through this whole process just to get the thing on your wrist. And if that's not bad enough for you, just remember you have to do that twice every time. Then we've got the bright lights that the devices emit. I mean, if we're feeling anxious or stressed out, we probably don't wanna draw a lot of attention to ourselves, and that's exactly what these lights are gonna do. You really can't walk around wearing them looking like you're about to go to a rave. To be 100% honest, I was too embarrassed to take out the trash while wearing these in case one of my neighbors might see me and think there's something wrong with me. Okay, okay, they're ugly, no problem. Just hide them under your sleeves, right? Wrong, you can't because they're so loud. Listen to this, that buzzing, if you were trying to keep your stress, your anxiousness private, good luck. I had a friend crashing with me while testing these devices out and he could hear the vibrations from the next room over. I had to show him what they were so he wouldn't think I was doing something far naughtier. If you only ever planned on using your touch points from the comfort of your own home for stress relief, then they might still be a good product for you. But if you were thinking about using them out and about in public for social anxiety or before getting up on stage to give a speech, I would think again, because they are gonna draw a lot of unwanted or unnecessary attention to yourself. Despite the horrible design, at least touch points are, in my opinion, very affordable compared to competitor products. There are some products out there that I think are actually better products, but oftentimes they're like twice the price. So if you're just trying to kill a little bit of stress and you think this might work for you, it could be worth a try. Too long, didn't watch. Here's a few quick pros and cons about touch points that I found. What I like is that it's unfussy and simple to use, cheaper than similar devices, and could probably reduce stress for some people. What I dislike about touch points are the ugly seatbelt-like design, the loud distracting vibration that's gonna draw attention to you, and the flashing lights that are just gonna make you look silly. Did I experience a 74% reduction in stress in 30 seconds or less? No. Despite not loving the product for my own personal use, I do still think it could be helpful for some people if you're willing to overlook those major design flaws. This probably could be a way to reduce your body's stress response and maybe even some mild anxiousness and maybe even improve sleep. Just don't expect it to be non-discreet. Those loud vibrations and those bright lights are gonna make it impossible to use this device in public. It's loud, it's ugly, it can draw unwanted attention, but maybe it'll reduce stress for you. Touch points are sold starting at about $190, but for $15 you can get a stand stainless steel mesh wristband for as an upgrade, which I highly recommend because the silicone one is just not it. Despite some harsh words shared, I did get a coupon code from the manufacturer. I'm gonna share that in a link below, so make sure you use that coupon code because not only do I get a little bit of money from that, and I've been very honest with you guys, but also you save yourself some money and it's almost like getting those stainless steel straps for free. I think that's all I got for you guys today, but I am gonna try out some similar competitor products, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe if you're not already. Let me know in the comments below if you buy touch points yourself and what you think of them. Catch you guys next time.